Welcome to a episode of Monday with Deco Art. I know, I haven't done a recorded one in a while, right? <laughs> I thought it was about time. All right, so as some of you may or may not know, I'm getting ready to meet some arty friends in Las Vegas for a week, and we're going to do the touristy thing, we're going to do a bunch of art stuff, and we're going to probably do some filming, some classes, and all that kind of stuff. So I have a, these couple pair of overalls, actually, that I hemmed that I'm going to bring at least one of them with me. One of them is white. Okay, as I've said before, my middle name is neither pace, Patience or Grace. So what do you think the chances are of them staying white, right? Slim to none. <laughs> so I thought, well, why don't I just get a head start on that? So I'm going to actually use some Deco Art So Soft Fabric Paint to paint up my white overalls and I cut out some splatter shapes out of some plastic binder dividers on my silhouette and so we are going to pre-paint some splattery shapes on my overalls in some fun colors I've picked out a couple of blues a green and a yellow that I like I have this pink but I think it's a little dark for what I want I may mix it with this pearly color I'm not sure about this. I know I want those on here. These are a maybe, so we'll find out. And I may add some Prussian blue too. I've got, where is it? Here, here it is. So dar some dark blue to give a nice contrast. So I have all these colors. I'm gonna speed forward through the process and I'll be right back.
guys. All right, it's been a couple of days and here are my overalls. They're fresh out of the laundry. You can see that some of the colors faded a little bit, especially the dark Payne's gray. Um, and this lifted up a little bit when I washed it, but the paints are very soft. They're not crunchy at all. This Deco Art So Soft fabric paint stays soft and it probably would have lifted less had I put, scrubbed the paint into the fabric more with my stencil brush. I wasn't too concerned with that because I really wanted them to look like literally like I'd been painting the house and or painting canvases and I'm just a really sloppy painter. That's how I wanted them to look. If you want perfect impressions and you want to do more like what I probably did over here where you're really scrubbing and the nice thing about using the um, DecoArt stencil brushes is you can just really scrub into the fabric with the brush and they're really great brushes. You don't lose any bristles or anything and they come in a number of different sizes. But anyway, I really love the way these pants turned out. They're just fabulous. The paint came off in the right places. It faded just the right amount and left just enough color. I love it. My husband called him my clown pants. <laughs> He's probably not wrong, but holy cow, I like him. So there you go. They're definitely pants for wearing when you really don't care what people think about what about what you have on. Um, and maybe when the people hosts from what not to wear are not around because you might get yanked into the TV show if you have these pants on. Just saying. Anyway, I don't usually much care what people think about what I'm wearing. <laughs> All right, that's it for right now. Give it a try. See what you think. You definitely could do this freeform. You could do it without a stencil, and you probably could really scrub the paint in and get it in there more. But I like the kind of worn effect that I got. So there you have it. Have a great day, everybody. Go out and buy some of the DecoArt So Soft fabric paints, some stencil brushes, and get out a pair of pants that maybe you have an old pair that have a stain on them anyway. Have some fun with them painting them. Why not? All right, that's it for right now. I will see you all later. Have a great day. Do something nice for yourself. You deserve it. Bye.